Good morning and grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. The reading this morning is from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 24 and 25, the King James Version. For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. Here ends the reading. We don't get to live forever here on earth, but we shall live. In the end, all things must die. But thanks be to God, even as the grass will wither for the winter season, it will come back. So shall all who believe live again, even though we too first must wither and die. Our hope rests in the spring that God has promised us. It rests in the good news that although we are sinners and deserve nothing but death, we will live again by the grace of God. Sinners that we are, Christ died that we might be made righteous by his work on the cross and reconciled to God our Father in his kingdom for all eternity. We cannot be made righteous no matter how good, how godly we attempt to be. We will all fall short, but Jesus did not. He did not fall short by any means. He was tempted and overcame every temptation, including the temptation to not go to the cross for us. In this good work of his, for our sakes, we have faith that we shall live for all eternity in the presence of God, our Father, and our Lord, Jesus the Christ. As the grass withers and springs back to life, so shall all who believe in the saving grace of God, our Father, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Our flesh will die, but we will live, because he lives. So shall we. Thanks be to God. Amen.